श्री मनोज मारुत तुल्य बेगम जितेन्द्र मुनिमताम ऋषम वातात्म जम्वा नरुत्मुख्यम श्रीराम दूत शरण प्रपद्य ओं श्री आंजनेयानमी श्री दुर्वा समर्पयानी कांधा च कांधा चुहति पुरुष पुरुषस्पति एवां दुदुर्ग प्रत्न चिन्ह च ओं श्री हनुमते नम अत दुर्वा समर्पयानी आंजनेय नम बिल्वपत्र समर्पयामी ओं त्रम कम्य जा सुगंधी पुष्यवर्धर उर्वाक वंदना मृत्युर्मुख्यमृता ओं तच्छमुा गा यज्ञा गा यज्ञपति गौरीशंकर नम हरि ओं नम शिवाय ओं श्री हनुमते नम ओं श्री मंत्रपुष्प समर्पयामी पानपत्र समर्पयामी ओं श्री अतुलित बलदाम हेमशलाभदेह धनुषमर्कृषाण ज्ञानी नाम अग्रगण्यम सकलगुनिधान वारनाधीश रघुपति प्रभक्त वातरात नमा ओं श्री हनुमते नम मंत्रपुष्प समर्पयामी अवाहि स्थापया पूजा प्रतिगर्ता ओं जय तो देवी चामुंजुदारति हारिणी जय सर्वीते देवी कालरात्रि नमोस्तुते ओं श्री हनुमते नम मंत्रपुष्प समर्पयामी ओं श्री पांचतत्वरेवतान कलश्यता नमो नम श्री पांचतत्वरेवताय नम मृतात्मजान श्री हनुमते नम ओं श्री निश्चय प्रेम प्रतीत विनय करे सनमादी के काजल सकल शुभ श्री करे हनुमान श्री मृतात्म जान श्री हनुमते नम आंजनेय नम ओं गज गौरीश्वरा नम मंत्रपुष्प ओं त्र्यंबकेश्वरा नम त्रिपुरांतकार नम मृतात्म जाय नमो नम ऋषि मंत्रपुष्प प्रतिगर्ता ओं विघ्नेशरा वरदाय सुरप्रियाय लंबोदराय विकताय भालचंद्राय ओं श्रीगणाध्यक्षा नमो नम अवाहिम स्थापया पूजा प्रतिगर्ता सिंदूर शोभन रक्त सौभाग्यम सुखवर्धन कामद मोक्षर चम श्री सिंदूर प्रतिगर्ता श्री सिंदूर समर्पयामी पुरशंकाशम जपाकसुम शनिवंशी मंत्रपुष अर्थाय ओं श्री सिंदूर प्रतिगर्ता सिंदूर समर्पयामी ओं गज वक्ता नमो नम से श्री इला कौपूर संयुक्त तामूल सुखपूजित पृथ्वीग्रहानदीव शत्रोक्यम सचराचर ओं श्री पोंगीफल महादिव्य नागवदली दलयुक्त इला कौपूर संयुक्त तामूल सुखपूजित पृथ्वीग्रहानदीव शत्रोक्यम सचराचर ओं शतकाबूल समर्पयामी ओं राधे गोविंदा नमो नम मंत्रपुष्प निश्चय प्रेम प्रतीत विनय करे सलमानी के का जल सकल शुभ श्री करे हनुमान मारुताप जान श्री नैवेद्यम निवेदया ओं नैवेद्यम प्रतिगर्ता श्री हनुमती नम मंत्रपुष्प समर्पया कांजनेय नम
sih itu datara light di inside one part ayo lo
Sound check, just one. Check one. Prem Sasma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai Vrindavan Mi Hadilala Ki Jai Let us all stand as you're about to now join in beautiful Shri Hanuman Ji Arati Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha Om Shri Saraswatya Namaha Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namo Namaha Om Namah Shivai Om Namah Shivai Arati Ki Jai Anumana Lala Ki Dushta Dalana Raghunata Kala Ki आरते के जय हनुमान लला के दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला के आरते के जय हनुमान लला के दुष्ट दलन रघुनाथ कला ओम श्री हनुमते नमः जाके बल से गिरिवार कापे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके जय श्री राम जाके बल से गिरिवार कापे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके अंजनी 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 पुत्र बलदाये रतन के प्रभु सदा सहाये देवीरा देवीरा रघुनाथ पताये लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए देवी रघुनाथ पताए लंका जारी सिया सुधिलाए लंका से लंका से लंका से युद्ध समुद्र से काये जात पवन सुतन लाए ओम श्री हनुमते नमः लक्ष्मण मुरचित परे सकारे आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन आनी संजीवन प्राण प्यारे लक्ष्मण मुरचित परे सकारे आनी संजीवन प्राण उबारे कहती हो कहती हो कहती पता तोरे जमकारी अहिरावण के पूजा उचारे सुन नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उचारे सुन नर मुनि आरती उतारे जय 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 हनुमान उचारे 
सब लोग तरह सोलते कर सीट As we begin this beautiful night once more the second night of our wonderful five nights of devotion to Lord Hanuman ji we say aapko swagatam namaskar karta hu special jai sri ram to each and every one on behalf of myself and the members of the celestial gandharvas once more as we take this golden opportunity to join in devotion to pavana putra to all our bhaktas to all devotees who have come from far and near to join with us a special welcome and jai sri ram we begin our night firstly by welcoming my wonderful mother who is here with us tonight We say swagatam and blessings to her tonight to the devotees of the various mandirs who are here, to Bhai Ji Rishi, to V R D D, to the members of the Lachush Road Shiv Mandir. We say swagatam and namaskar to the devotees who have come to join with us to worship Mahavir Swami in His names, His glories, and His wonderful forms. We welcome each and every one. To those who tuned in via Facebook, one hundred three point one FM. To those who are locked on via Sankhya Television, we say Aapko Swagatam or Namaskar. As we begin this divine night, without further ado, let us all sit upright. Let us close our eyes. Let us join in prayer. As we forget the entire world and we say, Lord, everything in Your hands at this moment, everything by Your grace and Your mercy and Your compassion. As we take a moment to dwell within the energies of the atmosphere that is filled with You. Om Shri Hanumati Namaha. ओ oh. oh. तुंद महाकाय सूर्यकोते समाप्रभा निर्विघ्न कुरु मे देवाजेशु सर्वदा या देवी सर्वूतेषु दुर्गा न संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु लक्ष्मी रूपेण संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वूतेषु सरस्वती रूपे न संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम नमस्त 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 नमो नम 
नागेन्द्रहाराय त्रिलोचनाय भस्मांगराय महेश्वराय निय शुधाय दिगंबराय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय तस्म नकाराय नम शिवाय करचरण कायजम कर्मज श्रवण नयन जम वनसा वराधा विहित विहित वर्वेत क्षम स्व जय जय करुणादी श्री महादेव शंभो जय जय करुणादी श्री महादेव शंभो जय जय करुणादी श्री महादेव शंभो शिव का नाम भजले रे मनवा शिव का नाम भजले शिव का नाम भजले रे मनवा शिव का नाम भजले शिव का नाम भजले रे मनवा शिव का नाम भजले शिव का नाम भजले रे मनवा शिव का नाम भजले शिव का नाम भजले रे मनवा शिव का नाम भजले तो लॉर्ड हनुमान जी भी प्रे चरण शरण में आई के हर तिहार राजा कष्टों से रक्षा करो कष्टों से रक्षा करो पावन पुत्र हनुमान आत जोर विनती करो सुनो वे संकट से रक्षा करो संकट से रक्षा करो ये अंजनि के ला पवन पुत्र हनुमान श्री गुरु चरण सरोज राजा निज मन मुकुर सुधा वर्ण रघुवर विमल जसु जोदाय कृपाल चा बुद्धिहीन तनु जानी के सुमीरा पवन कुमार बल बुद्धि विद्या दे मुही हर कलेश विकार पवन सुधा हनुमान की बजरंग बलि 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 जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर जय कपीश तिहु लोक उदागर राम दोता पुलित बल धामा अंजन पुत्र पवन सुतना वीर विक्रम बजरंगी कुपति निवास मत के संगी कंचन वरण विराज सुवेशा कानन कुंदल कुछ के साथ हाथ वस्त्र और दजा विराज कांगे मोह 
जजने शंकर सुमन के सरी नंदन महाजगवंदन विद्यावाज कर बे को आतुर प्रभु चरित्र सुनी बे को रसिया राम लखन सीता मन बस बजरंग बलि बजरंग बलि बजरंग बलि बजरंग बलि बजरंग बलि बजरंग बलि हो बजरंग बलि रघुपति के ने बहुत बराई तुम प्रिया भरत तुम्हारे भजन राम को पावे जन्म जन्म के 
दुख विसरा काल रघुबर पुर जाए जन्म हरि भक्त कहाये और देवता चन दई भगवत से सर्व सुख करे बजरंग बलि पवन तन संकट हरना मंगल मोर तिरो राम लखन सीता सहित हृदय बसो सुरभो पवन सुत हनुमान की जय बजरंग बलि की ऑन दिस ब्यूटीफुल नाइट we have gathered united as one family to create the energy of the beautiful quotation that says the family that prays together stays together as we begin this night in devotion we continue with a wonderful message as we have stopped last night in the shri hanuman ang and the shri hanuman charitramanas prabhu ramachandra in the forested region he has retrieved sita devi and after finding sita mata he is making his way back to ayodhya He shows the mother all the stops that he had made and where he had stopped and the ashrams and the Rishyamukh Parvat, Nandi Gram, the rivers that he would have crossed. And we continue our message tonight. But today is the day that is getting dedicated to the Mahar form of Prabhu Ramachandra. It is said, Lord, Rama is an incarnation of the Dash Avatar, which is Prabhu Vishnu Bhagwan. As we begin the night, it is said another Avatar is that of Bhagwan Gopal. We're about to do one of the most popular chants that many of us would know, Jai Radha Madhava. And while we invite everybody to sing along and to clap and to take part, tonight, it is not about the people around you. It is not about your job or your home or what is taking place in your life. Bhagavan Krishna says, let go of the burdens of the world and dedicate yourself to Him. And tonight, we will forget the entire world, everything in existence. Close your eyes if you must. Look at the beautiful form of Bajrangabali if you must. Focus your thoughts on Pavana Putra and sing for that Divine Lord. Jai Gopi Janavalava Jai Gopi Janavalava जय गिरिवर धारी जय राधा माधवा जय कुंजवी हारी एवरीबॉडी बोलिए सबको प्यारी जय राधा माधवा जय कुंजवी हारी Jai Kunjari, 
Hare Hare Jai Govinda Everybody follow यशोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन व्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन Rajajana Randana Yamuna Tiravana Chari Yamuna Tiravana Chari Jai Giri Vara Hari Jai Radha Madhava Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hari Hari Everybody go there Jai Govinda Hari Yashodananda na prajajana ranjana Yashodananda na prajana ranjana Yashodananda na prajana ranjana Yamuna tira Yamuna tira, yamuna tira Vanajari Yamuna tira, vanajari Jaya Radha Madhava Uja Vihari Jaya Radha Madhava Uja Vihari Everybody go here Jaya Radha Madhava Uja Vihari Jaya Radha Madhava Uja Vihari Jaya Gupi Janava Labha Giri Varadhari Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Kunja Vihari Jaya Gupi Janava Labha Giri Varadhari Jaya Gupi Janava Labha Giri Varadhari Jaya Gupi Janava Labha Giri Varadhari Everybody Jai Radha Madhava Jai Kunja Vihari Ek baar bolye Jai Radha Madhava Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम क्या बात राम राम हरे वृंदावन में हरिलाल की अ ब्यूटीफुल कथा बिगेन्स द नाइट while you all were singing just now i just remembered something from the message i will tell you in a few seconds our katha begins the night where prabhu ramachandra he will return to ayodhya he would have left lanka and for the entire night last night we spoke of the journey of prabhu ramachandra along with sita devi lakshmana they had stopped at rameshwaram they had stopped at the lingam of lord hanuman ji they had then followed that path and prabhu ramachandra shows devi sita this is where the kutia was where you were abducted this is where the birds were this is where jatayu was this is where the kutia of shabari maya was jat pat kul aur dharma barai we spoke of last night prabhu shri ramachandra never segregates people in the world he never chooses or picks and chooses anyone as long as your heart is pure no matter who you are wherever you are in this world with a pure heart will he will accept you It doesn't matter how much money you have, how much money you don't have, how big your house is, how small it is, what kind of vehicle you have, what kind of job, what kind of status you have. He says, "Bal ko tum bhi budhi se mata hai." No matter what you have in the world, it doesn't matter. Do you remember this line that goes like this? Chutti jaye sansa. एक दिना छुट्टी जाए संसार दिवर्स इज राजा रंक को काल नहीं चीन हता राजा रंक को काल नहीं चीन हता सबका करता आहार एक दिना छुट्टी जाए संसार राजा रंग को काल नहीं चीन हैोध्या Bharata had met Lord Hanuman ji. Hanuman ji tested Bharata last night to see how strong minded he was when it came to God. How strong minded are you when it comes to God? In today's world, do you know what happens? We put aside every single thing in the world, even God, for things that do not matter or things that are not most important. And when it comes to God, we put him aside. when in fact we should be doing the opposite half of the problems we see in today's world is that it is said in many scriptures the moment the mind is relieved of the thought of god the problem steps in the troubles of the world step in only to remind us how to be pulled back to the feet of the almighty tonight bhaktas while worshiping our lord shri hanuman ji tested bharata and after bharata has passed his test he will not listen negativity when it comes to shri rama Lord Hanuman ji turns around he transforms himself into that bajrangabali and he says i will give you a word and a promise lord ram is coming in your direction tonight to all the devotees who sacrificed last night and tonight to be here if i tell you before the end of the yajna prabhu shri ramachandra will enter the yajna what will you think and what will you say if you know and you can feel the energy in the atmosphere that the lord will enter at some point what will you feel and what will you think when bharata realized that god was about to come prabhu ram was about to return he says lord hanuman ji and he put his hands together mahaveer swami you've brought the best news to me and being that you've brought the best news to me i will take this news that you've given me i will share it to everybody in ayodhya let them know that after 14 years prabhu rama will return a city a village that seemed to be dead for 14 years 
It is said they lived in a dim light. People came out and there was, there was no smile. There was no joy. There was no contentment. There was nothing to laugh about. There was nothing to feel. There was no aura to feel. You know, sometimes people don't need to speak, you know. Sometimes you could go in a room and there could be somebody there and you just have to sit there. There could be a few people there and you just have to sit there and you feel totally comfortable. You feel an energy as though you have known people for so long and you just feel comfortable. Whereas you can sit amidst people. You don't need to speak, but you feel the energy that tells you, hey, get up and leave from here fast. Right? You feel somewhat unwanted not to be there. Something probably is, is awkward or, or strange. There are different energies. Create an energy within yourself that wherever you walk, people will surround you with love and with divinity. As scripture speaks tonight, it tells us according to the Sri Hanuman Ankh, when Bharata heard that Prabhu Ram is about to come back from 14 years, the, the entire city of Ayodhya, it gained life once more. They started to decorate everywhere. They started to fill the streets with lamps and diyas. It is said they started to fill the streets with decorations. The people of Ayodhya, they started to dress themselves. They started to dress beautiful to welcome the Lord. They dressed, my friends, the best for God because God was about to return. You know, I feel so happy just to be here tonight. It is not about who came and who didn't come. I feel so happy just to sit here and sing the glories of God. Just to be a part of feeling the energy of the Divine Master. Why? Because when I sit at the feet of this beautiful Lord Hanumanji, remember at the end of the night, you can go and you can walk around, perform your production, you can make offerings. Devotees who wish to come at any point from now till the Yajna ends, you can come at any point in the day and make your offerings to Mahaviri Swami. You can walk with your coconut and your flowers and your, your prasad and your root and you can walk with your bananas and anything and make the offerings and especially on Saturday for Sri Hanuman Jayanti for the entire day you come and make the offerings. Pray to Mahavir, walk around, chant Sri Hanuman Chalisa, sit down, meditate, perform Hawan if you wish. Be a part of worship. When Ayodhya realized that Sri Ram was coming, everybody dressed up. Everybody dressed themselves. Do you know long ago, I remember when the older folks used to do prayers and puja. Even me, while I was now learning Panditai, while I would go to the homes of people doing prayer, the older folks had this tradition. And I saw it coming from scripture. When you're having prayers and puja, you put on all your gold and your bera and your rings and your chain and everything. Not so? We have this saying that when you live your life, you must live detached. So you detach and you don't need to wear gold and wealth and so on. No problem. As a person with that personality of detachment, all well and good. Do not become a victim of what you have. But what you have as wealth, when you sit to pray, when you sit before God, dress nice. Bring your wealth. Bring your jewelry. Not for me, you know. But dress nice. It doesn't need to be here. But when you sit in your home and you perform a puja, dress nice to perform your prayers. Why? Because you're welcoming the entity, the energy of God in your house. The greatest energy of God is coming in your home. When you wake up in the morning and you're about to light your dia, you take your bath and you dress nice and you feel clean and you feel proper. Cleanliness is close to godliness. How you dress yourself is so you think and feel. If you decide to get up and you don't even take bath and you just decide to wash your mouth halfway and you stand up by God, you won't even feel clean and proper to pray. But if you dress well and if you take care of yourself when you come in front of God, you will feel the energy. When you prepare for yajna with all the preparation that takes place and you sit now for the yajna to begin, you feel good because you took part in doing something, preparations for prayer. When you prepare for your home puja and you take part, you feel something inside you. I did that. I want to feel the blessings now. If you didn't take part and prepare for anything, when you sit there, you take everything for granted. Because you never did anything to feel that appreciation. Tonight, scripture says, Bharata tells to the world, he says to all the people of Ayodhya, our Lord is about to come back. After 14 years, dress yourself, dress the streets. Prepare yourself in the most beautiful manner and let us wait for God. You see, everything will happen in the right timing. And while you prepare, listen. Rama ho Rama re, bhola mat jana. 
तेरी अयोध्या चोर के हो तेरी अयोध्या चोर के वृंदावन में हरि लाल की रामा हो रामा रे बोल मत जाना तेरी अयोध्या चोर के हो तेरी अयोध्या चोर के from tomorrow you're given the free opportunity just come and when you're here walk with any offering that you want according to the bhajan you know what prabhu says i embrace the people who bring phool laya phal laya to those who bring flowers to those who bring fruits i feel happy he says doodh laya paani laya you can walk with milk or even water he says ek laya patra laya you can bring any leaves that you wish to offer He says, "Dhoop alaya, dheep alaya," and you offer your agarbati, your incense, and you wave a sacred light, and that is all it takes to make me happy. Prabhu says, "All it takes to make me happy is a little offering, a flower, a fruit, some milk, some water, a leaf, agarbati, and even an arti." Dhoop alaya, dheep alaya, tere liye. पलाया धी पलाया तेरे लिए धूप लाया धी पलाया तेरे लिए धूप लाया धी पलाया तेरे लिए तुझको देखाऊंगा वापस न जाऊंगा तुझको देखाऊंगा वापस न जाऊंगा तेरी अयोध्या
ayodhya and while he's dressed and he's decked and he's waiting he's waiting for the moment guru vashishya the guru of the entire of ayodhya he comes and he stands and he waits for the lord he tells everybody while you're waiting be energetic be filled with the energy and wait patience is with you not everybody have patience not everybody could wait for long With the mentality that we live in the world with today, with the illusion and the Maya of the world, if you wait for more than five minutes, you get impatient. Not so. No matter what it is, if you have to go to the grocery and you stand up there in a line and five minutes pass, you get fed up and ready to drop back everything and go home. Not so. We live impatient in the world. No matter what you have to do in this world, it is said people are growing impatient. We are not taking a moment to dive within, to recover the peace and remember who you are as that bhakta. It takes, my friends, time to create the inner peace. While they're preparing for Prabhu to come, it is said all the ladies of Ayodhya, they start now forming a procession. They started singing. They started now dancing on the streets. they will take the dub grass and they will take now the haldi and they will take fruits and they will take flowers and they will now decorate the place they will take tulsi and pots and they will line the streets with tulsi mata to welcome the divine lord all the auspicious leaves and flowers and they will deck the entire place and while they will prepare for the lord my friends patiently they are waiting everything in the world has an appropriate time everything has time in Sometimes we want it too fast and if you wait too fast or you want it so fast and it happens quickly it may not work in your honor and in your favor when you going to build a house you go to your guru and he say guru dev i want to build a house tell me when should i start and he will look at the books he will check the stars and he will say you know what i think you should start next month and even if you say to him so nothing next week i want to do it next week he will look and say if i tell you not this week or next week or next month it has to be next month If you do anything before you will have complications along the way you will have setbacks you may have delays you may have disappointments obstructions will come and nothing will work in your favor time is everything you're going to purchase a vehicle you talk to the guru first and say you know what i want you to check i want to now purchase a vehicle should i buy it next week when i purchase a vehicle should i come home with it and he may tell you different things according to the ruling star of the day he might tell you when you buy drive not for 5 minutes and then come home There are little things that can create harmony in the nakshatras and the stars of the universe that can make things work in your favor. Patience is virtue. The right timing is important. Prabhu Ramachandra, he will come at the right timing. But while we are waiting, do not become impatient at mine. While you are waiting, keep the energy intact and allow it to be and allow it to flow. Today, while the entire for you, there is waiting in anticipation. Prabhu Rama he's approaching in the air remember he's coming in that pushpaka viman he's coming in the air and from way above now he says devi look look dekho na sita maiya dekho look mahavir bajrangbali dekho my beautiful ayodhya awaits me he says mahavir look down there 
Paunaputra, he holds on to the hand of Prabhu Ramachandra. He says, Prabhu, is this where you were born? Is this the place that I met you a long time ago? As a child, Prabhu, I can't remember. But as a child, I came and I met you here. I know I met you here. The children will remember sometimes. Today I was looking at a baby in a puja. And the baby was looking around and the baby was looking and smiling with the people around. And that child was, I think, just about eight months old. But the child is looking at everybody and smiling. And I was telling myself, at that age, the child doesn't know you. But out of intuition, out of that, that energy that the child picks up, the child knows automatically if to smile with you or if to cry if you look at her. Not so? There are some of the babies, they don't even know who you are. And when they look at you, they just want to come. They put out the hand like this. And there are some babies, you just have to say, Hey, and the cry start one time. You just have to walk away and you go. They don't even know you. And 15 years down the road, you ask or you even think, Can you remember who you looked at when you were small and who you smiled with? You don't remember anything. So what are they thinking when at that age they smile with you? It is not just thinking or knowing you. It is aura and energy that they are picking up. I feel safe with him or her. Or I don't feel comfortable with that person. As a child, the chakras are born and open at that point to pick up all energies. In the same way with the energies, Prabhu Ramachandra, he is looking at Mahaviri Swami. He says, do you remember? Mahaviri says, no, but I feel connected to Ayodhya somehow or the other. It is because I was there. Suddenly, the pushpaka is about to now take its course. And it's about to drop onto the earth. It is about to land at that most beautiful spot. It is about to stop at the spot where all the devotees have been waiting. It is said all the devotees of Ayodhya, they've prepped and they've dressed the place and they're ready and they're prepared to now have a wonderful time. The Lord is about to return. He's about to come back from that 14 years. And while he's looking down, the Pushpaka Viman is lowering to the earth. And while he's coming down, he says, Devi, look, look, my brother is there. Look at Lakshmana. Lakshmana, look down there. Look, Bharata, Satrugna. Look at our mothers. They're standing on the balcony and they're looking at us. And they're coming down to the earth. And they're about to land, my friends, onto the ground. He's now looking at them and he's smiling. But in his mind, he's hurt. He was separated from them for so long. And he's waiting for that moment to look at his mother. He wants to go meet his mother. He wants to smile with his mother. He wants to hug his mother. He wants to, my friends, feel the love, the care, the affection, the attention that the mother had given him as a child. And when Prabhu Ramachandra, he reaches to the ground, he says, Mahavir, please step aside. I need to come down. And as soon as the Pushpakaviman lands on the ground, Prabhu Ram runs down. He sees Bharata Bhaya. He sees all the devotees of Ayodhya. They are dressed and they are decked and the place is beautiful. And he says, this is where I remember. This is what I remember. The joy of Ayodhya. The place is welcoming for me to enter. They have created this energy. And today, Prabhu Rama, he walks up to his brother. He sees Bharata. Bharata cries and he sheds the tear and he says, Bhaiji, aap, yahai. And it is said, the beautiful embrace. They embrace one another. Gods of the skies, they are looking down at this moment. For this moment has been long awaited. Prabhu Ram, he embraces his brother. He turns to Shatrugna and he embraces his brother. And he turns around to the mother. And he sees his mother, Kausalya Maya. He sees Kekai Maya. He sees Sumintra Ma. And he walks up to them. He says, Ma, Ma. The mother's mouth, it trembles. After so long, she hasn't called his name. Ram, Prabhu, is it your voice that I hear? And while the mother looks with the eyes filled with tears, we have waited too long, Lord. We have awaited this moment for 14 years. We are living as though we are not alive anymore. But today I feel a spark of light from within us. And when the mother goes to embrace the Lord, Prabhu Ram, he falls flat at the feet of the mothers and he prostrates and he says, Ma, today your Ram has returned. Ram, Ram, Semilo, Ram, Semilo. Ram Similo, He Ram Similo, Shri Rama Ayodhya me aaye chalore, Sakhe Ram Similo, Shri Rama Ayodhya me aaye chalore, Sakhe Ram Similo, Ram Similo, Ram Similo, Ram.
राम से मिलो हे राम से मिलो श्री राम हे राम आयो जमे आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो दुलारे हनुमान संगने आए हनुमान संगने आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो श्री राम अयोध्या में आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो माता सुमित्रा आरती उतारे माता सुमित्रा माता सुमित्रा आरती उतारे नयन नीर बहाये नयन नीर बहाये चलो रे सके राम से मिलो श्री राम अयोध्या में आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो धूपदीप नया विद्य चारती धूपदीपा धूपदीप नया विद्य चारती उनको चरण पकाए उनको चरण पकाए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो श्री राम अयोध्या में आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो तुलसीदास कर जोरा कहत है तुलसीदास ओ तुलसीदास कर जोरा कहत है हरि गुण गाते चलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो श्री राम अयोध्या में आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो प्रभु रामचंद्र के मैया physically mentally emotionally a crisis some situation that has you down depressed negatively all it takes is a glance of the infinite bliss of god to lift everything again where is your feet if you're here tonight and your mind is troubled and your shoulders are burned by the weights of negativity then tonight before you go home circle mahavir swami walk around bajrangbali touch his feet and speak to him he will hear your prayer he will hear your plight he will hear your cry and he will lift your spirit and he will lift your energy all you need is a glance of the bliss of god the mother says my heart has been sinking in an ocean of sorrow but today my eyes are blessed and i will be fine because i have faith in you god राम से मिलो राम से मिलो राम से मिलो हे राम से मिलो श्री राम श्री राम अयोध्या में आए चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके राम से मिलो चलो रे सके ओम श्री हनुमते नमः ओ श्री हनुमते नमः ओम श्री हनुमते नमः वृंदावन में हरि लाल की ब्यूटीफुली इट इज सेट टुनाइट व्हेन प्रभु रामचंद्र लैंडेड देयर ही वॉक्ड अप टू हिज मदर्स 
he walked up to his brothers and he hugged them. When last you give your brother a hug? <laughs> when last did you give your brother a hug? When last did you give your sister a hug? When last did you hug your mother? Let me not talk my mother here tonight. I'll go hug you after. <laughs> when last did you give your father a hug? Devotees, today when Prabhu Ram landed from the Pushpaka Viman and he walked up to Bharata, he embraced him tight and he didn't let go for a while. He turned to Shatrogna and he embraced him and he stopped. Not too far, Sugriv was standing there. Sugriv says, I envy you, Lord. My brother Bali, he fought me for a kingdom. My brother Bali, he wanted to kill me. You are lucky that your brother embraces you. Next to Sugriv, Vibhishan is standing there. Vibhishan says, Prabhu, I worship you, Lord. Your brother hugs you tight and he embraces you. My brother, he kicked me out of Lanka. What kind of family do you have? What kind of brothers do you have? Why is it that in many people's home, out of the littlest of things, children, they fall out and they don't speak? When you are a child, if you, tell, if you told your brother out of an incident, you told your brother, I hate you and I don't want to talk to you again. Mothers and fathers, maybe at some point they would have intervened and they would have said, no, this is not the way to live. Go back and give your brother a hug. They would have corrected you. If sisters would have fought, mother and father would have said, hey, here's what. That is not how it works here. Go and hug her up and tell her sorry. If you're wrong, you're wrong. There's nothing like wrong and strong. If you're wrong, you are wrong. And you fix it right there and then. How we say? You nip it by the bud. You stop the problem right there. You get down to the root of the problem. In life, when situations come and arise and problems happen, you go to the root of the problem. You do not go to the world and you advertise it. When you're going through situations in your home, go to the root of the problem. If something is, if someone is having a problem with you, give them a call. Speak to them. Work it out. Don't go everywhere and throw your messages on the streets and then come back and after everything, you come and you say, here, yeah, now we go make up now. And that time the whole world laughing at you now. You do not do that, my friends. A person of character keeps it all within. Solves it at the very moment. So Grief says, my brother wanted to kill me. Vibhishan says, my brother kicked me and he kicked me out of Lanka. Prabhu Ram, you are lucky that you can embrace your brother even in this day and time. Prabhu Ram turned to Lakshmana. Lakshmana is holding the bow and he has the arrows and he says, Prabhu, command me more. I'm here. And Prabhu says, Hare Bhaiji, we have come home. Be happy. We have returned home. Let loose your bow and your arrows. Lakshmana, turn to your family now. Go to your wife. She has waited for you. It is said the wife of Lakshmana waited for 14 years. When they were about to leave, she prayed to Nidra Devi, goddess of sleep. And she says, Devi, please allow me to sleep for these 14 years. The time that I'm supposed to wake, allow Lakshmana to wake for me. Allow him to wake on his waking time and my waking time too. And I will sleep for me and I will sleep for he too. And with that, allow him to do his duty. That is what he went for, to perform his duty. Lo and behold, when the Pushpaka Viman was about to land, after 14 years, the wife of Lakshmana, Urmila, she opened her eyes, sensing the energy. After 14 years, she opened her eyes to glance at Lakshmana. Prabhu Rama says, Lakshmana, I release you of the commands. Go and speak to your Dolahin. She has waited so long for you. It is said, Urmila, she walked up to Prabhu Lakshmana. And she embraced him and she says, welcome home, my dear. Prabhu Ram, while standing there, the three mothers, they say, Prabhu, we must prepare for the coronation. We waited for 14 years and now we must prepare for the coronation. You will be the king. 14 years ago, you should have been this king. But it is never too late. Tonight, it is never too late to get something done. It is never too late to pray. It is never too late to learn something. We are never too old to learn, right? It is never too late to understand. It is never too late to create the humility in yourself and be humble as a person. Not every day we can fight and be strong and be wrong at the same time. It is never too late to humble and become simple in life. Simplicity is not about giving up everything and going in the forest to live. 
Simplicity is having everything around you and still being quiet and humble as that person that you are. Simplicity is owning the world if you must, but being simple at heart, at mind, and at understanding. Prabhu Rama, he's about to now go for the first time after 14 years. He's about to step his foot back into the kingdom. He made a promise to his father. Rago kolariti sada chaliaye prana jaye var vachanu na jaye bolo shri ram jay ram jay jay ram Jaya Jaya Rama Jaya Jaya Rama Bolo Jaya Jaya Rama After 14 years Even though Prabhu Ram He destroyed Ravana He never stepped foot in Lanka Into the palace of Lanka He never stopped at anybody The kingdoms that you would have seen Because he made a promise not to enter any kingdom, but to go to the forest and walk barefooted. After 14 years, he will step his foot into the kingdom of Ayodhya. And while he enters, the three mothers, they say, Prabhu, come. We have to cleanse you for the coronation. We will give you bath for the coronation. We have to prepare you for this auspicious moment in your life. When somebody is about to get married, how do they cleanse themselves? What do they do? They rub down with something. Yeah, Hardi. That night is called the Hardi Ki? The Rat. Hardi Ki Rat. That night they rub down the Dulaha or the Dulahin to be with Hardi. Why? Why do you rub down with the Hardi? It is said the Hardi cleanses. When you rub down that person to prepare them for that sanskar of life that is called a Viva Sanskar, you're cleansing them, you're rubbing them all over. You're supposed to rub all over and while you're rubbing all over, you're cleansing yourself. Instead, what do they say? No, 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 don't mess me up. Put your little thing there. Just thought, all right, good, good, good. <laughs> don't mess me up too much. You're cleansing your body. The Hardi has an aura that cleanses your body, your mind, your consciousness. So when you rub down, you're preparing for Viva Sanskar, cleansing. Prabhu Ram is about to prepare to become the king of Ayodhya. What happens? They're about to cleanse him. They put him, sit down. Mother Kekai Kaushilya Sumintra Maya, they've brought Hardi and they are rubbing down the Lord and they are now rubbing him like the Hardi Kirat and they're pacing him all over. And it said the Hardi has so much of essence in our lives. When the world had realized that there is a pandemic, what did we do? Jai Bhagwan. <laughs> Where you couldn't find Hardi, you find Hardi, right? Everybody knew to make Hardi tea. Everybody knew to grind or to grade the hardy and make a tea with it. We're not sure what they're going to do, but you know what? They're going to help. So everybody, every house I went to, they have a pot of hardy somewhere in a corner. <laughs> because we know, we know that the hardy, the turmeric, it helps. It is said the hardy, I remember long ago when the older folks, if you happen to get in an accident, the minute you get in the accident and you come, there, they're going to tell you to make, how you call it? Karha. They're going to tell you, make the Karha tea. It is the Hardi tea. Why? Because the Hardi heals the inside. According to the Vedic books, Hardi cleanses you on the inside. It cleanses you outside. Hardi heals cancer. It is said the Hardi helps with gallbladder. It is said the, the Hardi helps with sprains and strains. If you have a cut, a fresh cut, and you just take some of the Hardi and you rub it on it, it heals faster than putting anything else there. It is said the hardi was used according to Ayurvedic medicine. It was used to reduce inflammation within the body. If you have an allergic reaction and the body starts to become inflamed with the hardi, it eases up and it cools down the inflammation. If you're having stomach disorders, stomach problems, if you're having diabetes and you need to control the diabetes by making the hardi tea, you control the diabetes. 
If you're having excessive diarrhea, it is said the hardy tea helps with that. It is said to those who want to remove the, anti the antioxidants from the body, the negativities of the body to reduce pain, bloating, pressure to the head, acid, bile. To those who want to reduce the or get rid of gallstone, hardy. Ayurvedic medicine coming from the scriptures, the ancestors, and the elders. That is why today you see so many products. There's face products, there's hardy soap, there's toothpaste, there's tea, there's scrubs, face wash. You see how I look in? Hardy. <laughs> the hardy, my friends, it was known as Ayurvedic medicine. Prabhuram sat down there and they rubbed him down with the hardy. When they finished rubbing him down with the hardy, they then took sandal paste, sandalwood oil, sandalwood paste, and they paste him down. Sandalwood in itself it smells nice, not so. The sandalwood paste, it is used for treating many things. Do you know if you get the, the bark of the tree or even the leaves and you boil it of the sandal paste, it is good for treating common cold. It is good for cough. It is good for throat. I don't know about COVID yet, but... <laughs> it is good for throat. It is good for bronchitis. It is good for fever. It is good for, for sore mouth. You know, long time... I, I remember getting it one or two times when I was sleeping by my grandmother's house. You wake up in the morning and all of a sudden you get a little sore here. And it starts to burn and it starts to hurt. And when you see that sore, they tell you something. What do they tell you? What did they tell you? I'll tell you what they tell me. What did this to tell you when you wake up and you get something there and it starts to now irritate you? What did they tell you? <laughs> exactly so. <laughs> they used to tell you sometimes they say a spider pee in your mouth and all kind of thing. When that happens, they wake up with a little rash and you wake up with something there. It is said to cure that, you put some sandalwood oil. Instead, they're telling you to do all kind of thing. Put some sandalwood oil. It heals that. If you're having issues with gallbladder, a little bit, a little teaspoon of the sandalwood oil. If you're having heat stroke and the skin bursts out, you rub the sandalwood oil onto your skin and it's going to help. If you're having excessive headaches, sandalwood oils at the temple and it helps. If you're having heart disease, the sandalwood, the scent of it, inhaling it, and a little bit of it, tasting it, it helps with heart disease as well. It is said to those who are having muscle spasms, you're working hard and you realize all the pains are coming on, sandalwood oil and you rub down. If you're having disease and you're having fungus and bacteria in your feet or your hands or like a rash or something is coming on, sandalwood oil and paste and you rub it down and it's going to help you. All this comes from the book of Ayurvedic medicine. Today you have sandalwood soap. Today you have the sandalwood coming in all forms of cosmetics and perfumes and so on. If you get the real sandalwood, it's going to help Ayurvedic medicine coming from the holy books, my friends, to help us and to guide us. And you can see it in the rituals that we perform, like the Hardi Kirat. And today to prepare Prabhuram for the throne, they will rub him down with the Hardi and they will rub him down with the sandalwood, the sandalwood oil and the paste. And after they were completed rubbing down the Lord, it is said at that point, they will then bathe him now with dahi, with butter, with milk, and then purified water. And they will cleanse the Lord. They will purify the divine Lord. It is said to cleanse the palace and the kingdom. They will take rose water and they will mix it now into water. And they will now wash the whole place. You all get remedy tonight. Take note. They will take the rose water and they will put it into the normal water and they will wash the place and cleanse the place of anything that is heavy. The rose grows with thorns. The petals in itself, it has energy coming from the stem that has thorns that when you take the rose oil or the rose water, that which has come from the thorns, it removes the thorns of the home. It removes anything that is now piercing your home and piercing your life. It smells nice and it uplifts your energy. The rose water was used to cleanse the entire kingdom. And while it was used, at that point now, 
Prabhu Ramachandra, he has completed his bath, he has dressed himself, he's looking so wonderful. And while he's looking wonderful, today at this point, he's about to now dress himself. And how will he dress himself? It is said, while he will dress himself to go down to receive his throne, he will be decked in all his armor as a rightful king. And before he will take his seat, Bharata says, I want you to go onto the chariot and I want to drive you through the entire village of Ayodhya. Let everybody see how beautiful you look, Lord. How wonderful you've decked. When you travel and when you walk, allow the people to see how wonderful you look. You see today how beautiful Hanuman Baba is looking with his dhoti. Mahaviri Swami is dressed so wonderful that creates energy in itself. प्रेम की अगन हो भक्ति सदन हो मन में लगन हो तो प्रभु मिल जाएंगे प्रभु मिल जाएंगे इसे इस प्रेम की अगन हो भक्ति सदन हो everybody sees the Lord passing by and they will hail his name प्रभु राम चंद्र की वहाँ पे like something happen there or what वृंदावन बिहारी लाल की प्रभु रामचंद्र की प्रेम की अगन हो भक्ति सदन हो मन में लगन हो तो प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में लजाएंगे लड़स का बोले wonderful city and people come out and people take flowers and they're showering it on the Lord and they're taking rice and they're showering and while they're looking at the form of Prabhu Ram decked beautifully their hands are like this or their hands are like this and they're saying Prabhu I am blessed to glance my eyes at you tonight while you sit here don't just sit like this don't just prop the chin don't just sit my friends but put your hands together clap if you must worship the divine lord show the respect when you show respect for god in turn the world will respect you for who you are प्रभु हर शायेंगे प्रभु हर शायेंगे प्रभु हर शायेंगे प्रेम की अगन हो भक्ति सदन हो मन में लगन हो तो प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में लजाएंगे प्रभु में He goes around on the chariot and while everybody glances their eyes, they're so happy to see their new king returning to Ayodhya after 14 years. As soon as the Lord had made his way 
and he comes back and he stops at this point. He steps down from the chariot. He's about to enter now into the palace and the kingdom. And in front of the doorways, his guru is standing there. The guru looks at him, Guru Vashishta, and he says, Today your father will be proud of you. comes down and when he steps down from the chariot the guru says today your father will be proud of you no matter who you are are you living a life where your family your mother your father could say they are proud of you if not then buck up to all the children we do not need to live for expectations but out of personal character moral value ethics by yourself Live a good life. Live a proper life. Give up the bad traits. Give up the negativity. The companies that we keep that may pull us down from time to time. Be elevators as a person that when people see you, they love you and they favor you. Be a person that when your mother or your father can speak about you, they can feel proud. Guru Vashishta, he says, Prabhu Ram, Raja Dashrat will be smiling from above on this day. And when Prabhu comes down and he sees the Guru, he goes on his knees. Heart to Jodakar. And there he says, Guru Dev, please bless me. Guru Matra Pita, Guru Bandhu Saka, Tere Charano Me Swami, Mere Koti. Bully, Guru Matra Pita, Guru Bandu Saka, Tere Chara no me Swami, Mere Koti Prana, Tere Chara no me Swami, Mere Koti. I want to take 10 seconds tonight to do this. While the world is preparing for Sri Hanuman Jayanti very soon, our mothers and our fathers, they are our life. If your mothers and your fathers aren't alive tonight or they're not here with you, close your eyes for just 10 seconds and say that mantra. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Gurur Sakshat Param Brahma Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Akanda Mandala Karam Vyapta Meena Chara Charam Tat Param Darshitam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha and if your mothers are here with you next to you tonight, just turn to their air and say, Mommy, I love you. Yeah, my mom is here. Yes, mom, I love you too. <laughs> to all those whose mothers are here, to those if your fathers are here, don't leave them out. Don't let them feel one side. Turn to them and just say, Daddy, whisper in his air. Stand up if you have to. Daddy, hear my voice. I love you, Dad. Mom, I love you. 
it takes 10 seconds it takes a little effort it takes no effort and if a child refuses to actually turn to mother and father and say daddy i love you mommy i love you then you are ashamed of who you are then you are ashamed of your parents then you're ashamed of the mother who worked hard to give you everything then you're ashamed of your father who's standing day and day out working hard to give you everything then you're ashamed do not show that shame today turn to your mother turn to your father and just say i love you jai bhagwan <laughs> i saw a beautiful sight deep you're blessed jai narayan today friends while in our scripture prabhu ram stands by the guru he says gurudev please bless me and while he's been blessed he takes a step and he's going up now to the palace and he goes up to the throne but before he sits on the throne he stands there and he turns around and he looks at everybody who's there he says today before i give a speech to ayodhya he says today i want to say thank you to a few people he says devi thank you for supporting me in the forest lakshmana bhai ji there's no one else like you in this world thank you he calls sugreev and he says sugreev today i bless you on your army you can go back now and you can live happy comfortable let the world know that prabhu ram has blessed you nobody can touch you now he says vibhishan you can leave when you're ready and you can go rule your kingdom we have destroyed ravana you are the king of lanka he calls jamwant he calls some of the bears and he gives them many things it is said he called for servants to bring wealth and jewelry and they giving wealth and they giving jewelry for everyone he's calling some of the monkeys and he giving them jewelry and wealth and as we know it so beautifully it is said devi mata looks at prabhu ram and she is now giving him the eye you know like if we are sharing parasad and you forget somebody and nobody want to say but they like devi mata is are you forgetting the best one there and program looks at and he smiles and he says devi i know you like him more than everybody else because he found you because he brought hope into your life because he practically saved you he gave you that pillar that strength of everything that you needed when you needed it today he turned to bajrangabali he says paun putra come Ow. and when prabhu hanuman ji stands up to the lord he stands and he could feel on all ends he says prabhu just to hear you call my name every time prabhu there's no greater feeling in the world like that prabhu ramachandra says go by devi and when he goes by devi devi looks at him and she turns around to one of the ministers and she says oh that one bring it this pearl necklace has been given to me and prabhu ramachandra as a wedding gift this pearl necklace has come from the god of the waters varun devta it has power in it it has strength in it it has something that can eradicate negativity and protect you bajrangabali aao and she's about to place it around his neck and while she's about to place it there listen shri ram ja rama jay jay rama shri ram ja rama jay jay rama shri ram ja rama jay jay
तपवन सुत भुवन जाए that most precious necklace and when he receives it around the neck he starts to now slide it from side to side and he starts to look at it and while he's looking at it Devi says don't worry Mahavir Swami it is a very expensive piece it has come from the God of the waters it is a powerful gem it will protect you he says Maya protect me only my Lord can protect me. He looks at it again and again. And we all know the Kahani where Mahavir Swami, while searching everywhere, he could not see anything until he burst it. And when he burst it at that point, Devi Mata, she was shocked. It is said at that point. Devi Mata became hurt. She was shocked at that point. Are Mahavir, eh kya hai? What have you done? Maya, ek minute. He burst it and he started to pick up now one by one these gems. And he started to search in them. He started to look them in the eye. He started to look through from one to the other. And while he's looking, Devi says, Prabhu Ram, what is wrong with Mahavir today? What is wrong with your Bandar? Talk to him. He will embarrass all of us. I've given him one of the greatest gifts and that is what he will do. I know he's Bandar Roop. I know he's the form of the monkey, but he doesn't have to act with this monkey behavior in front of everybody. And while Devi Mata is looking at him, she feels ashamed. Are Pawan Putra, I can't understand, but Tao, tell me, what is wrong? Maya, I have traveled the world. Devi, I left my spot at Rishimuk Parvat. I flew over the entire ocean. I went to the Himalaya. I went to Kailash Parvat. I went everywhere and I came back here. Devi, I don't need protection. I need my Lord with me. And today while I look at these beads, 
Ma, I can't see Prabhu in these beads. Ma, I can't even see you. And he bit one and he cracked it. And as soon as he bit it and he cracked it, he opened it in half and he says, Look, Devi, nothing. This doesn't have you. And if this doesn't have you and Prabhu Ram, what is the use? If your life doesn't have God, what is the use of life? When he turned to the mother, the mother says at that point, she says, what do I tell you, Mahavir? Today I feel ashamed. You claim that the beads do not have your Lord in it. The body that you have, it has come from the five elements. God is not there. The body is made up of the five elements, but you possess a body. How come you don't complain? He says, Ma, don't complain. Maya, this body has Prabhu Ram, and if this body doesn't have Prabhu Ram, I will not live. Ma, if the pores and my body doesn't chant Prabhu Ramachandra, then what is the use? I don't need to be alive. Devi says, your body has Prabhu Ram. He says, Maya, you doubt? Maya Deko. And he said he took his nails. And when he took his nails, he's about to now break now. He's about to now create now that spot. He's about to open his chest. And he's about to show the world that with God inside you, with God instilled in you, you can do anything you want in the world. You can cross the ocean of the sansar. You can cross the ocean of the universe. You can stand strong. You can be powerful. You can be protected. And he opened his chest. And he said within his chest and within his heart, you can see the shining form like a light. You can see the form of Prabhu Ramachandra. You can see the form of Sri Sita Mata. You can see Lakshmana. And there out aloud, Jai Shri Ram! Jai Shri Ram! Jai Shri Ram! Prabhu Ram looked at him and tears of joy will flow from the eyes of Prabhu Ramachandra. Sita Mata, it is said she bent her head and she put her hands together. Son, I took you for granted. But today, let the world know your strength. Let the world know your power. I bless you, son. Whatever you want in the world, you can ask for it. He says, Devi, you want to bless me? I want to ask for one thing. Bless me that I never leave the sight of Prabhu Ramachandra. Bless me that I remain that child in your eyes and I remain there for eternity. But I do not want to go anywhere. And while the mother looks at the love that he has for God, everybody, all those who are wrong, they started to hail the name of Bajranga Bali. Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki! Pavana Sutta Hanuman Ki! Bajranga Bali Ki! Ram 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 He opened his chest and he showed the world that God is with him. Prabhu Ram walked up to him and he took his hand. He says, bring some hardi and bring some sindur. And he pasted it on his hand. And he rubbed it on the chest of Bajaranga Bali, healing him. It is said after his chest was healed with the hardi and the sindur put together, the color became orangish in color. And he says, today, as I've healed Bajarangabali, that color, that mixture will be the Hanuman Sindur. The world will receive the Sindur of Bajarangabali on its own. And whoever receives that mark will be blessed by Bajarangabali.
दशरथ नंदन राम 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 दशमुख मर्दन राम 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 दशरथ नंदन राम 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 दशमुख मर्दन राम 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 पशुपति रंजन राम 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 आप विमोचन राम 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 सीता राम 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 सीता राम 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 दशरथ नंदन राम बोलो अयोध्या वासी राम 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 दशरथ नंदन राम पति तपावन जाने की जीवन सीता मोहन राम पति तपावन जाने की जीवन सीता मोहन राम बोलिए राम 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 बोलो राम 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 बोलो राम 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 एक बार अयोध्या वासी राम राम दशरथ नंदन राम अयोध्या वासी राम राम दशरथ नंदन राम पति तपावन जान की जीवन वृंदावन में हरी लाल की प्रभु रामचंद्र की विद दिस माई फ्रेंड्स इट इज सरबन बजरंग बली यू रिसीव दैट हीलिंग स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ प्रभु राम प्रभु सीज आई विल गिव यू योर विश एंड योर डिजायर यू विल नेवर लीव माई साइड महावीर आई वॉन्ट यू टू नो एंड आई वॉन्ट द वर्ल्ड टू नो दैट यू विल नेवर लीव माई साइड एंड इफ द वर्ल्ड वॉन्ट्स मी टू एंटर दियर हार्ट दियर होम दियर लाइफ एंड ब्लेस दैम दे मस्ट पास टू यू फर्स्ट If they satisfy you first, I will go wholeheartedly. I will bless them. Wherever Mahavir Swami, I bless you today. Wherever my name is called, you be there, and you bless the people who sing for me. You bless the people who worship and adore me. Wherever your name is called and wherever it is called, be there and bless them because I will bless them too. We will work hand in hand together. We will stand together, united. and let the world know that you can never separate ram from hanuman ji today we are seeing a murti a beautiful murti of bajrangabali but we have created a yodhya with the energy of prabhu ramachandra vrindavan bi hari lal ki with this my friends we end our message tomorrow night we'll continue with the past times of bajrangabali but at this time we invite all to stand as we perform our arati remember Every night when we do arti while the arti is being sung you can everybody you're invited to walk around mahavir swami you can perform your pradakshina you can receive your individual blessings while walking around you can ask for your wishes your desires pray to mahavir for his celebration of janmadin will be celebrated a few days from now
जाके बल से गिर भर काफे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके जाके बल से गिर भर काफे रोग दोष जाके निकट न जाके अंजने अंजने अंजने
ತ್ವಮೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ ತ್ವಮೇವ ಸರ್ವ ಮಮ ದೇವ ದೇವ tonight as we join in this final one we take this moment to wish a wonderful mother dan jai karanji a wonderful mom on behalf of your wonderful son we wish you a happy birthday shri hanuma jai hanuma jai jai kapivar bahu balava shri hanuma ಸೀಟ್ಸ್ 